Hello and welcome to part two of my Beretta 1301 Comp Pro user guide. Watch this video to find out a little bit more about your Beretta 1301. I'm going to talk about ammunition, magazine capacity, the mechanics of the Beretta itself. I'm then going to go through loading and unloading. Watch this video to find out more. Before we do any work with a shotgun, we need to prove that it's clear. So I'm gonna remove the safety flag, check inside the chamber, the body, inside the receiver, and that I can see the magazine follower. There are no cartridges present, so working parts forward, safety off, far off the action, working parts to the rear, safety on, and then breach flag. We now know this is safe to work on, so it's gonna be good to go for this video. When the safety button shows the red ring, the safety is disengaged, so the firearm is ready to fire. When the red ring is not visible on the safety button, the safety is engaged. D, you should never train with live ammunition. You should always train with dummy ammunition. So these, you can buy these from local stores. Uh, these ones are magload, uh, but basically they have shot inside them, so they're a good weight. They have no powder and no primers. The shooter and all bystanders must wear protective eyewear and ear protection during shooting. Residue from gunpowder, lubricant, metal fragments and shot may be projected backwards and cause eye injury. Noise reducing earmuffs will also reduce the risk of damage to your hearing caused by prolonged shooting activities. The Beretta 1301 Comp Pro is capable of firing a broad range of ammunition. The combination of the rotating head on the breech bolt and the blink gas system reduces felt recoil. The recoil force is dispersed directly in line with the shooter's shoulder and lends additional stability to the shotgun when firing subsequent rounds. The 1301 Comp Pro gas system has been optimised to ensure low gas dispersal. The gas piston and elastic seal has a self-cleaning action that minimises maintenance. The gas system significantly reduces the stress that the operating parts are subjected to at higher cartridge charges. The piston and rough finish on the piston seal constantly cleans out gunpowder residue in the cylinder, increasing efficiency of the shotgun and reducing the need for maintenance. The oversized cocking handle, bolt release lever and safety button reduce effort and make it easier to operate the controls. The safety button on the trigger guard is reversible for left-handed shooters. The rounded profile receiver and the wide, stepped rib really help you with quick, instinctive shooting. The shape of the heavy-duty polymer trigger guard makes finger positioning easier. The rubberized stock and fore-end have improved grip in all weather conditions. The rubber recoil pad ensures the stability of the shotgun on the shooter's shoulder. The Beretta 1301 Comp Pro can accommodate cartridges from 70mm to 76mm and cycles load weights from 24g to 57g. Beretta recommends 32g. However, I like to use 28g for birdshot and it cycles without any issues. And for SG, I use 36g fibre wad. All Beretta barrels as well as the steel proof Beretta choke tubes are designed for use with factory steel shot cartridges. When steel shot cartridges are fired, the best results are obtained using open chokes, so cylinder and improved cylinder. Full or modified chokes distort normal pattern density, accelerating wear and tear. The Beretta 1301 Comp Pro magazine holds 10 70mm cartridges plus one in the chamber. So let's take a look at the Beretta 1301 Comp Pro trigger mechanism. As you can see, if you look through the small window here, you can see that the sear has engaged with the hammer. You see the small hook. Once the safety is disengaged and the trigger is depressed, you can watch the sear being removed from the hammer, which releases the hammer. As the hammer goes forward, 
the loading ramp also goes down to pick up the next cylinder. The expelled gas from the cartridge then brings the working parts to the rear, recocking the hammer and raising the loading ramp. Firing off the action, removes the sear so the hammer goes forward and the loading gate goes down. Let's focus on the receiver. Pressing the bolt release releases the carrier and the loading gate. This lifts the cartridge up so that it's in position for the bolt to guide it into the breech. The loading gate forms a ramp to make it easier to push cartridges into the magazine. The clip on the back of the bolt release button holds the cartridges in place. Operating the trigger simultaneously releases the hammer which strikes the firing pin and ignites the cartridge. A cartridge is released onto the loading gate. The gas system drives the carrier assembly to the rear, raising the loading gate, then driving the cartridge forward into the chamber. The extractor grips the base of the cartridge, removing it from the breech and extracting it from the receiver. When you fire your shotgun, the gases from the cartridge travel down the barrel and then some gas comes down into the gas block. Once it gets into the gas block, it then pushes the piston back, which moves the working parts to the rear. As the working parts travel all the way to the rear, they then move forwards and push the gas plug back into the gas block. Before loading the firearm, it's a good idea to practice the following handling procedures without the use of ammunition. Never handle a loaded firearm until you're fully familiar with the loading procedures. Always check the barrel before loading the firearm to make sure that it's clean and free of possible obstructions. I usually just run a bore snake through the barrel just to make sure it's clear. Check the conditions and the tightness of your choke tubes. So remove a choke. Check to make sure that it's clear of damage. Refit or choke. and then use the choke key just to make sure that it's in there nice and tight. To load the shotgun, first we ensure that we remove the breech flag and then you put that in your pocket. We then get a cartridge, place that inside the chamber and press the bolt release button and that, that will chamber your cartridge. At this point on, make sure that that safety stays on and your finger stays away from the trigger. We then Load the rest of the cartridges into the magazine and then that is your shotgun good to go. You may have a stage where you're allowed to have cartridges in your magazine but no cartridges in your chamber. So what we need to do is we need to ghost load one of our cartridges so that it is on top of the feed ramp so it's ready to go for when we charge that charging handle. The way we do that is simple. Depress the button and then that slides the next cartridge on top of the feed ramp so that when it's in our shoulder and we receive that start signal, it's going to load the cartridge into the chamber. You're good to go. So in this scenario, we're on the range, we've finished shooting our stage, but we still have live cylinders within the chamber and within the magazine. So keep your finger off the trigger Apply the safety catch, extract the live cartridge, let the working parts go forward, they will not chamber any more cartridges. Keeping the shotgun pointing in a safe direction, turn it over, place it under your arm, then use your thumb to push down on the loading ramp, and then with your forefinger and your thumb, pull up the bolt release catch, and then that will release the cartridges from the magazine. Once all the cartridges are out, you should see the magazine follower so you can see that it's clear. 
press the button to activate the ramp. You can now pull the working parts to the rear and then they will hold open. So you can inspect the chamber, the body, inside the receiver and the magazine to make sure it's clear. Show the RO that it is clear as well. Once the RO is happy, press the bolt release catch, safety off, fire off the action in a safe direction. Working parts to the rear, safety on, flag in. Depending on the range, you will then have muzzle up or muzzle down to carry. So in this scenario, we need to unload an empty gun after we finish firing on our stage. So safety catch on, keeping the gun pointing in a safe direction, bring it under your arm, and then we inspect the chamber, the receiver, inside the body, and then we have a look to make sure that we can see the magazine follower. Now we know that there are no cartridges present. So we're doing all that with our shotgun pointing in a safe direction. We then move the working parts forward, safety off, fire off the action, working parts to the rear, and then we put the flag in. And depending on your gun club, it will either be muzzle up or muzzle down. Thank you so much for watching part two of my Beretta 1301 Comp Pro user guide. I really hope you enjoyed the video and found it useful. If you did like it, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and share this video with your friends. Thank you so much.